the big thing that's left is redistricting. This happens every 10 years. Um, that has been a little bit on the back burner while they have finished up their regular legislative session, and they're handling it a little bit different this year than they have in the past. They're going to go home for a couple weeks, three weeks. Uh, the redistricting committee, the staffers that are working on this are going to remain in Raleigh, furiously drawing maps and redrawing maps and negotiating maps and figuring <laughs> maps out. Um, and then they will come back mid-July to consider the redistricting plans. And there are three plans that the General Assembly will consider. It's the congressional maps, the State House, and the State Senate. So that's where they are right now with that. Once that takes place, then how does the approval process work? Well, it's, it is exactly like a bill. I mean, there will be three different bills. There will be a bill that is a congressional map. There will be a bill that's a House map and a bill that's a Senate map. And the language is in there, and it's treated exactly like any other bill in that it's going to have to go through committee. There will be committee debate. Well, the bill will be filed, first of all. Um, and then it will go through committee. It will go through committee debate, discussion. There'll be negotiations. There'll be amendments. There'll be changes made to this. And and then it will be voted on in committee. Once it gets committee approval, then it goes on to the floor of that particular body, just like any other bill does. Um, again, it will get debate, discussion. You know, the party not in charge of drawing the maps will complain furiously. The party that is in charge of drawing the maps will say they're the greatest maps ever. Um, you know, and we'll have a day or two of that. And then they'll vote on, the House will vote on their map. The Senate will vote on their map. And then, just like any other bill, it crosses over to the other body for its approval.